Okay, everyone. So now we are going to make program to find average of numbers. So first of all, in Java, we are going to create a class. Let's say the name of class I am giving is average. Now this is the body of class. So here in the body, I am going to provide the main function. Here in the class, we provide public means we can access everywhere. Then static. Static means the main function should be accessed without making object of the class. So the average class object is not required to access the main function. Then is the void. Void means no return type. Then is the main. So main is the driving function. Inside that we are providing the string ARGS. That is string argument. So here Java is going to take the string argument when we are providing the input. Now afterward, this is our main function. Inside the main function, we are going to ask from user that please provide us few numbers so that we can take the average. So here we are saying system dot out dot print. So system dot out dot print means on the user screen we are printing a message. So here I am providing slash n for the new line that enter three numbers. So from user we are asking the three numbers. So here this message will be displayed onto the user screen. Now we are going to take the numbers from the user. So for that we need the variable. Now we are going to take the three variables of integer type. So int a, b and c. So three variables we are taking so that if the user is giving three values, three values can be stored here into a, b and c. And for finding the average, we are taking the data type, which is double. So double type variable, which is AVG, we are taking. Now is the time to take the input. For taking the input, first of all, we have to import the package. So here we are going on the top and here we are importing. So import java.util.scanner. So this is the package that we have to import. So here we should know that util is the package which is utility package. Inside that we are having the class which is scanner. So scanner is going to take the input. Now this scanner object we have to make. So first of all we are going inside the main function. Here we are saying scanner let's say it's object we are making s. So scanner s is equal to new scanner. So here this is the format of making the object in Java. Now in the bracket we are providing system dot in that means through the input stream we are going to make the object. So here we are passing the input stream because we want the input via input stream and from here we can take the input from user. Now inside the variable a, we are taking the value. So a is equal to s. s is the object of scanner dot next int. So next int is going to take the integer value. Similarly, we are going to take the b is equal to s. s is the object of scanner dot next int. Here we should know that i is capital. So Java follow camel notation means there Q letters are capital. So inside the C we are taking the input using the scanner object which is s dot next int. So here this is how we can take the input. Now afterward we are going to find the average. So here we are taking avg. We know that average can be into the floating point values. That's why we are taking the average into double because average can be into the decimal values. So here avg is equal to a plus b plus c and that is divided by 3. So this is how we are finding the average. Now is the time to show this average to the user. So we are saying that system dot out dot print. So this is how we can print. Now afterward we have to provide the slash n for the new line and here we are saying that average. So here the average we are providing and for concatenation in Java we have the sign which is plus. 
Then afterward we are saying AVG. So here this plus sign is for the concatenation. So here our program is complete. Now we are going to save this program. So we are going to file then save as. So here we are going to the desktop. On the desktop we have the folder which is Ankit. And here we are going to provide the name. So preferably the name should be the same as the class name. So here average. So we can do one thing. We can take this name which is average. So A V E R A G E dot Java. The reason we are providing the same name is that once we are compiling this afterward, whatever is the class name bytecode means dot class file will be made on the same name as the class name. So now afterward we have to select this all files so that it should be saved as Java. If we are saying the text file chances are there this file will be saved as the text file but we want that this file should be Java file. So all files then afterward save. Now is the time to compile this. So now we are going on the command prompt. So now we are on to the command prompt. First of all, we are going to the folder where our program is placed. We know that our folder is on the desktop. So we are saying CD for the change drive desktop. So we are going to desktop, press enter. So here we can see that desktop is coming. Inside the desktop, we are having the folder which is Ankit. So change drive or directory to the Ankit. So we are going inside the Ankit. Now here we are going to the compile code. So Java C is the compiler. Then the name of program. We know that that is average dot Java. This is the name of program press enter. We can see that there is no error coming. So that means successfully our program is compiled. So here we are going back and checking. We can see that here a class file is created. That means this class file is the byte code. Now is the time to run this. So here for the running purpose we know that we will simply write Java. Then afterward we are going to provide the name of program that is average. So this is the byte code that will run. So Java average press enter. We can see that it is saying enter three numbers. So we are seeing the code here. So here we are having the code on the left side. We can see that is saying enter three numbers. The same message is showing. Let's say the three numbers we are providing is 10, 11, 12. So these are the three numbers press enter. We can see that average is 11.0. Now we are understanding the code. First of all we are having is the import. Import is used to import the package. Just like in C, C++ we are having is the hash include which is for including the header file. Similarly, here we are having is the import that is for importing the package. In Java, we have the package. So here inside the Java, we are having the util that is the utility package. Inside that we are having is the scanner. Scanner is a class that is used for taking the input. We know that every Java program always start with the class. So here we have provided the class and class is average. So this is the boundary of the class. Now inside that we are having is the public that means access outside static means the class object is not required to access the main function. Then void means no return type main is the driving function string argument means arguments are taken. So Java is taking the input in the form of string argument. Now afterward we are making the object of scanner. So here scanner S. Now scanner is the class its object is created. So whenever we want to create the object here we provide scanner S is equal to new scanner. So this is how we can make the object. In the bracket we are passing system dot in. So input stream we are passing so that we can take the input from the user. So S is the object of scanner. Now afterward we are going to declare the variable. So int a b c. So here in the memory three variables are declared. Let's say variable a. Maybe its address is 301. Then let's say variable b. So maybe its address is 401. And there is one more variable. Let's say that is c. So let's say its address is 501. So these three are of integer type. That means they can take the integer values only. Then afterward is the 
double avj so one more variable is declared into the memory whose name is avg and let's say the address is 601 this is of double type double means floating whenever we are dividing a number there are chances that decimal values can come so that's why it is taken as double now afterward we are having is the inside the system we are having the output stream then print so here print or print ln that is depends upon you print ln means going to the next line print means same line so here understand that after printing the line if you want to go to the next line use print ln otherwise use the print so here printing on the user screen slash in for the new line so here we can see that once we have compiled and run the code so here inside the command prompt we can see that java c that is a compiler and the name of program is average dot java so we can see that this average dot java is the name of program so this is the compile means we are going to compile this so after the compile successful compilation means nothing is coming here then we are going to run this code so java average we are running now here we can see that after one line we are having the enter three number so this slash n means one line gap we are providing so enter three numbers so on the user screen is the message enter three numbers now afterward we are having is s dot next int understand that s is the scanner object which will help to take the input from the input stream next int is going to take the integer value the user has given the first value which is 10 so that 10 is taken and stored to a so here the value of a is 10 now afterward we are having is the s means we are taking the object of scanner dot next int so we are taking the integer value through the scanner and user has given that is 11 so here inside the b we are going to store this 11 so here 11 is stored at the b now afterward we are having is the again s we know that s is the object of scanner dot next int so through the scanner we are going to take the next integer input that is 12 so that 12 is going to store at the c so here inside the c we are going to store that is 12 now afterward we are going to find the average so here a plus b plus c into the bracket so we can see that the value of a that is 10 plus the value of b that is 11 plus the value of c that is 12 so they are into the bracket divide by 3 so first of all the bracket will be solved so their sum is equal to 33 divide by 3 so that is equal to 11 so here this 11 will be stored inside the avg so a plus b plus c divided by 3 that is 11 is going to the avg and the value of avg is 11 because we are using the avg as double so that's why here the decimal place and some values are applied so here the decimal value will be the coming inside avg now afterward system dot out dot print means printing onto the user screen Slash in for the new line, so we can see that one line gap. Afterward, average. So here on the user screen, we are having a message that is average. Afterward, some gap, and we are saying plus. Plus is for the concatenation. So here we can see that we are concatenating the string portion with the variable. So here plus is for the concatenation. Just like in the C programming, we are having is the comma for concatenation. here we are having is the plus then avg the value of avg we know that is 11.0 so that is displayed on to the user screen this is how we can find the average of numbers in java